Hello from Seoul. On a hot summer, whether you're a beginner or a professional chef, the last thing you want to do is stand over a hot stovetop forever, right? But don't worry about it. With this bad boy, you don't have to spend hours in the kitchen. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get started. Today, we're gonna be making ganjang bibimguksu, Korean style soy sauce noodles. Although there are so many great noodle dishes around the world, once you try this, every summer, you will find yourself making this dish over and over again. Yes, it's that simple, addictive, and delicious. For this, you will need some noodles, ground beef, green onion, garlic, cucumber, soft boiled egg, and toasted sesame seeds. Actually, we don't need all of these. As long as you have some noodles and sesame seeds, you can still make delicious soy sauce noodles. But let's invest a little bit more ingredients and time to make it more delicious. Don't get me wrong, it's not because I'm being blackmailed by my hungry bird at home. She just kindly asked me to do that, without any weapon. Alright, let's start off with our vegetables. First, thinly slice some green onions. This bad boy makes everything taste better, so please be super generous with this. More green onion, more delicious. Next, smash 2 cloves of garlic and finely chop them. If you're in a rush and you want to reduce the prep time, then you could also use some store-bought pre-minced garlic. I think there will be a better option on a busy wing night. This time, let's julienne some cucumber. I'm gonna use about half of it. Actually, you'll be like the more, the better. Because the fresh cucumber goes really well with this kind of Korean cold noodles. Trust me, the freshness of cucumber will make it a hundred times better. And then grind 2 tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds with a mortar and pestle. Of course, you could just use them as is. But if you grind them up like this, you're gonna get a more intense nutty flavor. This is the technique that separates the mediocre soy sauce noodles from a great one. So please make sure to grind them up like this. Now let's make the sauce. We're gonna be making two kinds of sauces. One is for our meat topping and the other one is for our noodles. First, for the beef, in a small container, add 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of oyster sauce, half a tablespoon of mirin, 1 teaspoon of sugar, finely chopped garlic, half a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, some black pepper, and give it a good mix. If you don't mind spending a little bit more time, you can marinate the beef with this. Then you're gonna get fantastic beef bulgogi. But since we're using only a small amount of meat and it's even ground beef, let's skip it this time. Don't worry about it, still gonna be good. Next, for our noodles, combine 3 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of vinegar, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of corn syrup, 2 tablespoons of toasted sesame oil, a few shakes of black pepper, and a pinch of MSG, which is totally optional. For information, instead of sesame oil, adding the same amount of perilla oil is a good option too. And not only that, if you want to add a little bit of kick to it, add 1 tablespoon of Korean chili pepper flakes. There can be another variation that you will love. Alright, we're set. Let's get cooking. In a wok or pan, add half a tablespoon of oil and heat it over medium-high heat. Once it's heated, add 200 grams of ground beef. And then spread it out and just leave it in the pan for about 1-2 to two minutes. Once the beef is nicely browned on the bottom, flip and stir fry it for about 2 minutes. Here, we wanna render out the fat and evaporate the liquid as much as possible. So make sure you give it a good stir and keep tossing it around. When the beef is nicely browned, pour in our sauce and stir fry for about 1-2 to two minutes. The fat from the beef will add so much flavor to our beautiful sauce. So if your beef is too lean, add a splash more oil. Alright, looks like it's done. Let's turn the heat off and set it aside. Now let's prep the noodles. Bring a pot of water to a boil and cook your noodles according to the package instructions. Today, I'm using jungmyeon because it's slightly thicker than soymyeon noodles so I kind of prefer its texture. But even if you're using different types of noodles, you don't have to worry about it. They'll be all fantastic, so just use what you have. That's the best. Alright, the noodles are cooked. Let's take them out and give them a quick rinse on the cold water. Once they're cool enough to handle, give them a good rinse to remove some starch from the noodles, just like washing your socks. Not like very expensive clothes. 
Here, some of you might ask, Aaron, is it alright? Are you sure the noodles won't be turned off? Don't worry about it. That's not gonna happen. But by any chance, if they got torn, you should really consider changing your career. I think you could be a world champion in arm wrestle. Good luck, Hulk. Anyways, once that's done, give them one more rinse and squeeze out the water. Finally, we are ready to assemble. Let's put it all together. In a large mixing bowl, add your noodles, beef, sauce, and mix it with your hand. Here, make sure there's someone around you because this will not only give you that authentic vibe, it will also make them think you're a Korean master chef. Yes, this is how to show off, but don't forget to wash your hands thoroughly before you do that. When the noodles are nicely coated, give it a quick taste and add some more salt or soy sauce. For information, I added half a tablespoon more of soy sauce. Alright, let's start plating. Place some noodles into a bowl and top it up with some cucumber, green onion, and a soft boiled egg. If you have some salad greens or microgreens in your fridge, bring them all. All the different vegetables will make it more fancy. Last but not least, let's sprinkle on some ground toasted sesame seeds. How does it look? It looks so beautiful. You don't know what to say, right? Alright, let's score our taste tester. Claire? Wow, looks fancy. Normally we don't use this Yugi bowl because it's a high maintenance bowl. So I feel like I'm in a fancy Korean restaurant. Let's give it a try. Wow, 석기 너무 미안할 정도로 예쁘게 공들여서 탑을 쌓아놨어. Let's mix it. 계란을 살짝 안전한 곳으로 대피시키고. 우와, 여기 깨. 와, 이거 섞이면 진짜 고소하겠다. 깨에서 오는 그 고소한 냄새가 막 진동을 하네. 우와. Makes me so hungry. Cucumber and meat topping. Cheers. <웃음> 차가운 건데 맨날 습관이 맨날 불어. <웃음> 오케이. 완전 맛있다. 되게 고소한 그런 양념들이 면을 샥잘 코팅이 돼가지고 진짜 맛있어. 이런 고소한 맛을 오랜만에 먹으니까 뭔가 먹자마자 되게 그냥 건강해지는 그런 느낌이 살짝 난다. 약간 고소한 맛만 있으면 중간에 먹다 좀 질릴 수가 있거든. 근데 약간의 그 산미가 있으니까 전혀 질리지 않는 것 같아. 늘 그랬다 먹을 수 있을 것 같아. <웃음> 어. 아 그리고 그 중간중간에 그 고기가 신의 한 수네 약간 마늘이 잔뜩 들어간 불고기 맛? 그런 느낌이야 짭조름하면서 갈리키한 게 되게 맛있네 오. 음. 오이의 향긋함이 맛을 더샥잘 끌어준다 오이 좀더 줘봐 <웃음> I want some more crunch Thank you 미안하지만 내가 넣어서 먹을게요 자기는 이따 더 썰어서 드세요 다 느낌? <웃음> 음, 훨씬 더 여름에 먹기 좋은 음식으로 변신한 느낌이야. 음, 괜찮네. So I hope everyone can try this noodle dish. You're not gonna regret it. So good. Today I showed you how to make Korean style soy sauce noodles. How was it? It looks absolutely delicious, right? With this bad boy, on hot summer days, you don't have to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. So just enjoy this dish and chill out for the rest of the day. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be your new summer staple. Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.